So I was on the road trying to beat this winter storm rolling in. And uh, it, it, we kind of met head on about Table Rock. And it was way too rough to camp in February, I think. So I just had to go knocking on doors. Literally, the, the highway was becoming almost impassable. I ended up at the, I think it's called the Table Rock Inn or Bed and Breakfast, which was closed. But they took pity on me, little knowing that I would still be there three days later. <laughs> About a foot of snow rolled in. All the roads were closed, including the Cherokee Highway 11. And uh, it was magic. I mean, right from their doorstep for two and a half days, all I did was just hoof it around as best I could. And, uh, at first, it was about a foot of snow. And I ventured into Table Rock State Park, and uh, I only got like a half a mile in, and the whole sole of my boot peeled off. <laughs> and the, the, the rest of the day was about four miles worth. With uh, a, I took the shoelace off and tied the sole on, and uh, with a semi frostbitten foot, slogged through the day. But those are the kind of things you remember. And then uh, another another quickie was an early morning, pre-dawn sunrise at Table Rock, which many of you know of. Uh, not Table Rock, it's at uh, Pretty Place Chapel, up beyond Caesar's Head. You know, arriving in the dark, usually it's a very solitary, meditative experience. And we, we just got there, and this school bus rolls up. <laughs> oh, no, no. And about 60 kids all float. It's still dark, <coughs> and I think there goes the shoe. Well, it just it gives you hope for the future because there, there we were on a spectacular dawn in the chapel overlooking the whole watershed of our project, and there was almost total silence on the part of those kids. And they were they were in the moment, perhaps half asleep, but in the moment. <laughs> and uh, you know, it, it's, it speaks well. They were they certainly overcame their nature deficit that morning. <coughs>